Hi. The name of this video is Blender 2.49a Falling Dominoes Tutorial. This tutorial is based on Super 3 Boy's 19th Blender tutorial. The link to his tutorial is in the description on uh, YouTube. And you can also go to forum.nistic.com to find comments on it, as well as comments on YouTube. His tutorials are great. He's enthusiastic and he's easy to follow. The problem is that he used an earlier version of Blender. The current version, 2.49a, has a bit of a different user interface, and some of his tutorials can get confusing if you're following along in the newer version. So I'm updating those that have been affected by the changes. If you're thinking about making a game in Blender, you'll probably want to learn about Blender's physics engine, as well as the game engine. Blender's physics engine makes the objects move more realistically. This tutorial touches both on the physics and the game engine, as well as showing you how to create a video out of it. We're starting up Blender. We have the default cube. We're going to erase it. Just the uh, X, delete. Now we're going to add a, a plane, and we're going to scale it up five times with S5. Then we're going to add a cube, and a cube mesh. So I'm doing a free rotate so you can see it. And, and what we're going to do is I'm going to go into wireframe mode so you can see the plane. And now I'm scaling the cube so it's thinner along the x-axis. Then we do the G key, so we move it up so the domino is on the plane, more or less. You'll see it's not quite right. Okay, so now I'll do a free rotate so you can see the domino on the plane. And we're going to move the domino to the back of the plane with G and just sort of go there. And you'll see that although it looks perpendicular, it's not. We're going to use the game engine now. But before we do that, we're going to set up the parameters. It's going to be a rigid body, actor, and turn on the bounds button, and it's going to be a box boundary, which basically is the, the boundary of the, uh, of the falling. But you notice the, the, the domino falls off over the, cue, over the plane because uh, it wasn't quite perpendicular. It was a little leaning to the left. So now I'm going to fix that a little bit. You'll actually see there's a little bit of wobbling, but I'm, I'm experimenting, and you see there's a wobble. So now we have the physics set. I uh, just want to show you a couple of things. Let's, we're putting the, I'm putting the angle not enough so that it will fall. So you see it doesn't fall. That's kind of the realism of the physics engine. But now if I, if I make the, ro the rotate using R enough so that it would fall, and press P, it does fall. Now I'm going to undo the rotation so it's more or less perpendicular and I'll do a, a shift D so we'll have a few dominoes so you watch the dominoes fall so do shift D and they all have the physics because when you do a shift D you're copying all the attributes the data plus the object uh, you don't really have to there's other, there's other ways of copying but you are copying the whole thing so we have five dominoes and I'm gonna go back and you see there are the other five dominoes and we're going to go back to the first one, and we're going to rotate it enough so that domino will fall. Then we, we hit P, and lo and behold, the dominoes fall. Okay, well, one thing is that it's not animated. If you do, if you do Alt-A, those, those, we're in the game engine, so we're not quite animated. So uh, there's a way of making it so that uh, we do animate it. But basically, right now, we're going to play a little bit with the game engine. So I'm going to create another, another domino, put it on top, and let's see what happens then. So we have a little bit of a sort of a barrier to the falling. And now we'll hit P. And notice that the building is an, enough of a block, enough physics to block the, the actual falling down. So I'll try to see if I can make it fall down by you know, scaling it a little bit and see if we make it a little less um, of course if you put it uh, if you put it vertical or close to it you, it will fall down so I tried it but it did notice the second domino did fall a little bit so it's real very realistic rendering of the uh, of the motion of the of the dominoes so anyway we'll um, we'll leave that for your you to play with I'm sure you can figure out a way of making all the dominoes fall down so now we're back to the dominoes as they were before. 
you know we're in good shape here now uh, what's hap what happens is I'm animating it and the animation doesn't carry over from the game engine but there's a way to do it if you hit the game uh, menu and it's uh, the the option is record physics to IPO it records it to the IPO uh, editor and that way you have the animation and now I'm in the animation mode and if we animate it we're now able to see the animation which means we're at the next step which would be to to actually create a video out of the animation. To create the animation it's pretty simple. We uh, specify the, the, where the output directory is going to be. We're going to have a preview of 640 by 512. It's going to be rendered at 50 percent for each frame. We're doing it over 250 frames and I'm using the AVI codec. And then just pressing the animation button, the ANIM, you'll see that it starts the animation and when it's finished you'll have a file called 0001 underscore 0250.avi which you can edit. I hope you liked it. You can do a lot more. You can texture to make real looking dominoes, falling bricks with cubes. You can do a bowling game. You can have the bowling pins stacked on top of each other. You can model how the bowling ball makes the bowling pins fall. Yeah, and you can be real destructive without, of course, having to pick up the pieces. So enjoy.